Air signs is Nicole. So let's get started. This is your August 22nd daily read. I'm going to give you the shuffle before we start. All right, give me one card for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 22nd, 2019. Taurus, we got the Angel of Joyfulness. It says something wonderful and magical is about to happen. Okay, then. Okay. We want card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We want card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 22nd. We want card for Capricorn. You have the Angel of Emergence. It says it's time for the real you to emerge. Okay. We want card for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo it says the Angel of Expression. I think you guys got this yesterday. Speak your truth and express yourself clearly in the underlying energy you have for all of my earth signs. Goddess of compassion. It says self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. Hmm. So some of you guys aren't being compassionate to yourself. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for August 22nd, 2019. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. got partnerships and alliances so with the three of wands i feel like someone may be establishing their own strength going into a, an alignment this is the same card we got for the uh, air signs reader so some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign um it could have been mental conflict in the past this is almost the same cards i feel like someone's finding three 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 someone is getting into an alignment here so either you have a lot of air in your chart and this is for you or you're dealing with an air sign um, I feel like someone's gaining their spiritual strength, maybe dealing with some low vibration things in their external, but really understanding or starting to see what that is. But the solar plexus here, and we're going to read when we get to it, this talks about, you know, movement. This talks about your own esteem, your own confidence. So with the seven of pentacles as the first card out, why is this here? I feel like there is... Seven Pentacle Spirit, Pentacle Sun card here. There's a temporary pause in action and someone moving forward um, in the reality, in the 3D. So someone's in suspension with the hangman here. Um, I do feel like divine timing is at play within a situation. Someone here is stuck in some type of codependency, maybe. There's a temporary pause in action because someone needs to work with their work in, put the work in, in order to really gain some type of material success. Or, mater or someone's putting in material work. Someone's working in the 3D to move away or to move toward happiness. This is almost the same energy I got from the air sign read. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? So two of swords here in the past. I feel like there's been some mental conflict. Why is this two of swords here? 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 Yeah, someone has been in conflict about making the decision to move toward Ace of Cups, a new opportunity, a new cup. Could be soulmate with the Five of Cups under here, that Six of Cups, but I do feel like there is some type of regret um, around the situation. So someone it has regret and has mental conflict about some type of partnership. We got the Devil card in the external. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. This could be for Capricorn because this is an Earth sign reading. That's the only Earth sign I see here. Why is the Devil here? Ace of Swords here. So someone has mental clarity. We got Taurus here as well. Someone has mental clarity about doing what is right. Um, we also got Libra here. I do feel like maybe someone is trying to create balance or has a fear of creating balance within a situation. Maybe even have a fear of being honest or, or, or giving mental clarity to someone. I feel like someone may be needing to, find, to follow their own 
inner guidance, their own higher self in regards to doing what is right or balancing out a situation. This is about truth. For me to get these two here, the Ace of Swords and the Justice card, this is about doing what's right and speaking truth, bringing mental clarity, either about a relationship that may be in low vibration or to someone that you're in a relationship with that is low vibration. I feel like someone is, is trying to innovate new ways, new paths. Why is this? Okay, so let's read the Soul of Plexus. Stay first. This is about I can. So someone is really in their mind understanding that they can either move away from temptation or alleviate the mental conflict they have so that they can be in celebration with themselves. It says the solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area, just below the rib. I feel like we got this yesterday, just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, wisdom. I mean, <laughs> power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem, and confidence. The energy center where your emotions and feelings are recorded. This chakra is associated with clear sentence, which is inner feelings, which is a major, which is a major psychic reception area. To balance the chakra, you may want to try yoga, dance, and movement, or breathe with color. With color. In addition, be aware of people who drain your energy. So some of you guys may be starting to understand someone that may not be in the best vibration for you. Workshop and classes that focus on empowerment will help you open and harmonize this area. So why do we have these solar places chakra here? Why is the solar plexus chakra here? Why is the solar plexus chakra here? Why is the solar plexus chakra here? We've got the seven of pentacles with the knight of swords and the death card. So someone here is moving away from a This is just like the air sign reading. Someone is moving away from a situation that is unfulfilled, really taking action to transform. Someone is using their own willpower to do this, really putting the work in necessary so they can rejoice in celebration because this is literally the outcome. Rejoice in celebration. So why is Rejoice and Celebration here? 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 I feel like somebody has been waiting to go into uh, some type of partnership. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords here. The, I feel like now this Three of Cups and this Seven of Cups is, is Ten Cups. So I do feel like someone was in a relationship that may have been blocking them for happen, from happiness. Some confusion, maybe someone had a lot of things that they had to deal with. In suspension, someone was in suspension, um, still at a temporary pause in action, but I do feel like someone is finding their willpower to really transform the situation so that they can take a leap of faith. All right, I feel like someone's gaining their spiritual strength, especially with that nine of wands that's underneath all of this. Try, someone's establishing their own strength. All right, so let's see what messages do we have? What messages do we have from our signs? We're going to pull one for each sign with the four. All right, give me one for Taurus. So, ooh, Taurus, you got your card, teacher. So either you have been a teacher in this situation or someone is teaching you in this situation. I feel like with work your magic, you're the one that's teaching somebody cards or have. All right, so you want card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. You want card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and we got two for Capricorn. We got follow your heart and crystals. Crystal represents focus. So some of you guys are needed to follow your heart and stay focused, Capricorn. All right, it says power of joy, so maybe follow your heart to where you find joy. Me one card for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Me one card for Virgo. Virgo, we got freedom. So this is about you gaining your freedom. Um, <laughs> underneath all of this, we have father, husband, brother, son with yes. Listen, I got this for the air signs as well. So either some of you guys are dealing with an air sign or the person that you're dealing with. Because mind you, I had mother, husband, brother, son for the air signs. And I have... Mother, I got mother, wife, sister, daughter for the air signs and father, husband, brother, son. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign. Um, I feel like are they're coming back to you. If they're not directly air signs, they have air in one of the at least top fours or either in their, I feel like it's top four or Jupiter or something like that, top five. Because Jupiter is very important when we're talking about relationships, love and marriage as well. So this is definitely connected to the air sign. That's all I have.
Until next time, peace.